Hey everyone, this is going to be a Graph Studio demo for the Accumulators video you just watched. If you haven't seen it yet, I'd recommend watching that video before continuing this one. Our goal with this demonstration is to show you guys how to use the different types of accumulators with a couple simple examples. Here we can see the list of all our queries. This get friends query is from our last video on the basics of the select statement. I've typed out all the queries we'll be using today just to save a little bit of time. Let's start off with the simpler accumulators first. The query names will reflect which accumulators they contain and we'll only be using global accumulators because we won't actually be traversing any graph. In the sum average min max query, we first initialize all the accumulators and then pass the same values to each of them. They accumulate the values, perform the computation, and then their final values are printed in the end. Moving on to the set list bag query, we'll demonstrate the properties of each. We initialize the accumulators the same as the last query, and this time we'll push duplicate elements to each of them. We didn't mention bag accum in the slides, but it essentially behaves the same way as the list accum, except the order of which the elements are received are not kept when printing the results, and the data types must be the same, so you cannot have a string and integers in the same bag accum. So let's run the, run the query and take a quick look at the results. Set accum doesn't accept duplicate values, so the second five we pushed will not show up. List accum does allow duplicates, so both of the threes we passed in are printed. Since bag accum behaves pretty similarly to list accum, all the values were printed, but not kept in the same order they were received. In our last query example, things are not as simple as in the previous two. For heap accum, we will need to define the maximum number of elements that we want to include in the results and the order of which the elements are displayed. For map acume, we will need to pass in values using a key along with its value. The key and the value are separated with this arrow symbol. We'll initialize our map acume and have the values go into a sum acume if they're mapped to the same key. In the results, we see that from the four values that were passed into our heap acume, only the three highest values are stored and printed in descending order. For the map acume, since we only used one key for three values, the three values are added together into the sum acume to return a value of six. These are the most commonly used accumulators. Hopefully this demonstration helped increase your understanding of each. If you'd like to read more about the accumulators, visit our documentation site at docs.tigergraph.com.